Oh, I can't believe I was still going. I wanted to try and knock him out, but he was tough, man. Wait till no limit goes to Wollongong. It will f***ing go off. I wanted to knock him out. Oh yeah, he's very strong. Well, it's hard to get the tummy while with someone trying to tackle you. It was a f***ing stop us. I was in the fight, like, you could just give him pulling, clean hook, man. To do it in front of some of my family and friends. I haven't fought in Australia for a few years, so I'm so grateful to do it. Appreciate him taking on the fight on, on a month's notice. He's a good guy, he's a tough guy, and I've got the job done tonight. Congratulations on the win, mate. Were you confident you'd done enough? Yeah, look, I think um, you got me in the first round, but I did well in the last, second, third and fourth, and it was a pretty tight, but um, you know, it could have went, could have went a draw, went to me either way, but he was a tough guy. Uh, obviously, he just finished playing football, so he's got the fitness on his side, but he fatigued a little bit later, so I was lucky to pull away, and obviously the two guys standing behind me really helped me. Anything sort of surprise you? Does he hit pretty hard? Yeah, look, he does. He got me, he asked me after the fight, did the, he got me one in the stomach. I said, yeah, it did hurt. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's boxing, mate. I really enjoyed tonight. It's never gone four rounds before, so yeah. Look, he took me to deep water. Don't worry about that. But I was just very lucky enough I got the win. Mate, I, I knew I'd get him in the middle rounds. I knew I'd break him. I thought I'd be a bit cleaner early on. I got hit with some stuff I usually don't, but look, I'm, overall, I got it done, and the win's the most important thing. Hopefully, I get this gets me ranked. That's what this is a stepping stone towards what I want to be. Uh, look, I'm just looking forward to getting back out there, getting consistent, and um, getting some fight trolling. So, yeah, hopefully, we're out uh, pretty soon. And what about the crowd? You brought, brought a few mates along. Hey, I'll always bring a crowd. Wait till we go to Wollongong. Wait till no limit goes to Wollongong. It will f***ing go off. So, mate, when we get to Wollongong, Mate, I'll blow the roof off the place, so, and with a spectacular performance. What's on the cards for tonight? <laughs> beers, beers and more beers, as Victor Radley would say. I only trained for like two weeks, so pretty good. All glory to God. You hit him with some pretty hard shots in the first couple of rounds. I wanted to knock him out. Oh yeah, he's very strong. Good on him too. He's like, I know he's been boxing for ages. So yeah, it's good performance. Congratulations, mate. It wasn't pretty at times, but you got the job done. Yeah, I got the job done. I was, I was hoping to get knocked out, but it's hard when someone's trying to cuddle you the whole time. Yeah, but, um, you know, give, uh, you know, got to get some props to jump in the ring to Chrissy, you know. There's some balls in there, but um, I thought it was going to be a fight. You know, I thought he was a fighter. He was ready to go for four rounds, and I was ready to box for four rounds. And I just wanted to show the people that I could box for four rounds, you know, and that's what I wanted to see. Just talk us through the sort of stoppage there and your thoughts on it. It was a f***ing f***ing stoppage. I was in the fight like you could just give him pulling, clean hook, man. It's a f***ing, this is boxing. This is boxing. We are not playing netball or volleyball here. Undefeated professional boxer, how's that? <laughs> it feels good, mate. It's an unbelievable show, no limit to put on. And, and to do it in front of some of my family and friends. I haven't fought in Australia for a few years, so I'm so grateful to do it. A bit anticlimactic with the finish? A little bit, mate. I mean, I was just trying my best to go in there and show that now I'm a professional. You know, I've got to be a little bit more aggressive. Timothy Bradley, when he was an amateur, he was a little bit sort of moved around, similar to me in the amateurs, but then he went in to turn into a hunter. And that's going to be me now, mate. I'm hungry, I want the top. You know, I've got to be a little bit more aggressive. Got to be smart, but a little bit more aggressive. And that's what I was showing in those two minutes. I'm a rifle, fighting on my life already. Prepared for the pain and the strife already. You really want me come and get me already. Understand I got a million soldiers with me. Footy players are one, one thing that I was very, very tough. And they're very willing and I knew he was going to be that, so I knew for the first at least two rounds he's going to have a dead set crack and he did and he, look, he, he did really well to be honest, the, the way he tied me up, the way he used his size, he pushed me against the ropes, didn't allow him to step back and punch it all, so yeah, well done to him but I got the job done.
Yeah, I could tell he's gas, and I was sort of let, you know, I was parrying all the punches, get back and check it. None of them landed clean, or none of them hurt me anyway. So I knew that was going to happen. I knew he had 30 seconds in him, and he did. And uh, yeah, I was over from that point on. But he did exactly what he had to do. He did, he did really well. I, I'll give full credit to him. And uh, there's been no animosity between me and him throughout the build up to this. I just really respect him and appreciate him taking on the fight on, on a month's notice. Um, he's a good guy. He's a tough guy, and I got the job done tonight. Got paid. Gonna have Christmas. Got a bonus 20k, so I'm happy. Not bad for four and a half minutes work. Not bad, mate. My daily my hourly rate's not too bad today. Giving some to Harry and Sam Goodman because uh, I, I, I really don't like the way. Uh, yeah, I suppose the boxing people treat the rugby league guys for getting in there and having a crack and bringing exposure to the sport when last night a former world champion had about 200 people to show up to watch him. I feel really sorry for the genuine boxers, so I'm going to put my hand in my pocket and help them out.